Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to draw my colleagues' attention to a House bill that has recently been dropped and be read today in the House. It's HB 990. And it says, among other things, you know, one of the things that's unique about this particular piece of legislation is it doesn't just state the law as it seeks for it to be. Instead, it has a long section at the beginning, different from other bills, that is a section of whereas clauses. And the whereas clauses say things like this, whereas Governor Nathan Deal has demonstrated fiscal responsibility throughout his first term in office. That's one of them. Whereas Governor Deal has declined to do this, and, and it says, whereas in support of Governor Deal's stances, and I just wanted to note that when you start a bill by apologizing to the governor for what you're about to do, you know it's not a good bill. They claim this set of, of apologies. When you start saying good things about somebody, that person should, be, should know that they're in trouble. Because what the bill ultimately does is it says that the governor shouldn't be trusted with the decision about whether to expand Medicaid. I was surprised when I saw the bill. And I thought, what is the problem that they're trying to solve with this bill? And then I realized it's not about solving problems, it's just about politics. But the problem is, is that we're playing politics with a very serious issue. The day that this bill got dropped, Another hospital closed in rural Georgia, in part because of the giant strain on hospital budgets that come from a huge uninsured population in our state. And when a hospital closes in Wheeler County or any other rural county in Georgia, it's not just about the, the health of those citizens or the economics of the, the, the hundred jobs, I believe, I heard at, at that Wheeler County Hospital. It's about future economic development in those places, too. As a senator from the 26th would tell you, you can't put a mill or a factory in a, in a county with no hospital because you can't have somebody operate a nail gun if they've got to drive 40 miles if there's an emergency. You're talking not just about, about the health of citizens, but the health of entire communities, of swaths of this state. And we're playing politics with it. And it's not just politics. It's the worst of Washington politics. It's the worst Washington politics that we have seen in a long time. And we've decided with this bill to bring it into Georgia. Not only that, but we as Georgia citizens are paying for it whether we like it or not. We are going to pay. We, our federal tax dollars are waiting there for us to use. They've been offered to our state. They've been offered to help our citizens, to help make them healthier, to help ensure that we can have an ounce of prevention instead of pounds and pounds of cure. And yet we're going to play politics with it. We're saying, no, we don't want that to be reinvested in our communities. We don't want it to be billions of dollars of economic development in our health care system. And I thought, why would you pass this bill at all. And then I really couldn't understand why. In fact, I can't imagine a governor in our history that would agree that he shouldn't be trusted with this decision. Why is it that the governor wants to wash his hands of this responsibility? And the answer is, is that as these rural hospitals close over the summer, they want to be able to say it's not their fault. Nothing I can do about it because the legislature has to make this decision. And I believe that's a pattern of stepping back instead of stepping up. I think we have to, we have seen repeatedly the buck being passed on teacher salaries, bucks passed to the local boards. We've seen the first instinct is not to take charge, it's to wait, pause, be hesitant. We have to lead on every issue. We need that. We cannot wait for our state to be embarrassed before we have someone who step up and initiate an emergency management protocol. I don't think we should play politics with these, and I hope, I hope that we look through this bill when it comes to the Senate and we see with those, that introductory statements about how good everything is going as what it is, which is a shield and a, and a smoke screen over what this bill actually does. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the well.